Okay, so I've decided that I want to do weekly vlogging. So it is a Monday morning and I'm on the way to the train station and I'm in a rush, I really. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. It's Monday morning. I straightened my hair. I know, wild. Well, not like relaxer. I mean like with a flat iron, like a blowout. So, oh. straightened my hair with like a, um, a flat iron and stuff so sorry the glare anyway but yeah I just want to do a little check in I'll check in with you guys when I get to the train like the end of the work day but my work day is not over yet but i have to go home they closed our building so they closed our building so i don't know where to put you guys they closed our building so we have to work from home for the next two weeks because of the corona so i'm about to head home plug in my laptop and my monitor and get back to work so i'll see you guys when i'm actually done work <laughs> It is now 10 o'clock. I've officially clocked out of work. And I'm about to go take this makeup off, take a shower, and just go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. So it is Tuesday morning. And like I said, I am working from home. Can't see that. But yeah, so like I said, I didn't, I don't think I finally like explained what happened. Um, yesterday but they pretty much sent out a like the building owners pretty much sent out like yeah we're closing the building so our my employer decided that it's we can work from home because we just can't close like and not work so we're working from home so this is new to me i've worked from home like like sporadically throughout my career but i've never done it and we're going to be working from home for two weeks so I'm going to try my hardest to stay focused. I already ordered a desk because I don't have a desk in my house because I didn't work from home. So I ordered a desk and it's supposed to get here on Thursday. So hopefully there's no like delivery issues or stuff. And then I also ordered another monitor. So I work off my laptop, but I, I definitely need a second monitor to make it all like easy for me and make it efficient for me to do my job. So I ordered that. Um, yeah, so hopefully, and I, I have a keyboard in there, so hopefully when I get my desk, I'm able to set up the second monitor and use my keyboard. I already, my job already gave us um, a cordless mouse, so I have that, so I'm hoping that I can get my little setup together, that way I can sit at a desk and it feels more like work. Like right now, I have this table. It's like a TV dinner table that I use for my YouTube videos and I put my laptop on that to try to help me like sit up and do it versus like putting my laptop on my lap because it's not efficient. You're not going to get any work done. So yeah, guys, I'm going to get to work and then I'll come back with you guys maybe later in the day. I'm not sure, but yeah. I'm finished work. Can you see me? Okay, maybe this. I don't know where the lighting is. It's wherever it is, it's not here. Anyway, so finished working for right now. Um, I'm gonna work some overtime, but I took an hour break to eat my dinner and just like, fusa, and then I'm gonna go back to working some more. But yeah, so I got my dinner in the oven. In the oven, in the microwave. So I went to take my soup out and it was still cold. So my mom made soup about two days ago. So we have hella leftovers and I love Bajan soup. So I have been eating it up. I haven't eaten since like 11 something this afternoon because I wasn't really hungry. I had breakfast when I first woke up and then around 11 something I felt a little peckish. So I had some tea and uh, bagel cream cheese. 
So this is probably the last thing you eat. Probably maybe a snack after. I don't even know if we still got snacks because we we quarantine snacks get eaten. I don't know. I ain't even getting none. So I don't know. But let me go see if this is finally warm. So here is my soup. What's the wide angle? Ooh, it's doubling on the soup. It's like no. Here's my soup. It's finally warm. It, it's almost, it's hot, but it, it just, I don't have time. I'm hungry and I don't feel like microwaving it every five minutes. So, but yeah, I'm about to grab in on this. Okay, good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning and I'm already clocked into work. I'm about to start a new fall right now, but yeah. I I haven't left out. I haven't been outside in like since Monday when I got off the train and came home. I haven't been outside, and I don't I don't know if I like this. And I hadn't. I I don't know if I like this. So, but I have my tea. Let me show you guys my tea. So this is my tea. It is just regular English black tea. Um. Vanilla almond milk and some sugar. That's what I'm drinking right now. Yeah, guys. I'm just trying to, you know, make it through this. I worked overtime last night and I am not doing it again. I'm going to clock out at 7 o'clock and whatever is done is done and whatever is not done is not done. I'm not about to kill myself. Because then, like, because I'm working from home those lines of like am i at work or am i at home get too blurred and like last night i didn't have time to like unwind and go to sleep and then wake up this morning and this morning i woke up i woke up late actually so i'm not doing that again because i like to go like get in my bed and be like showered and bed prep by 11 o'clock and last night it was like 12 o'clock and i just fell asleep on the couch so not gonna happen today seven o'clock i'm clocking out i don't care what is left on my desk clocking out i'm not coming back so yeah because that's two hours of extra overtime and i that's more than enough for me but yeah so i'm about to get back to work and i will check in with you guys maybe around my lunch time or maybe when i clock out i don't know we'll see okay guys so i'm finished with work and everything I'm on my head tie. I know it looks crazy, but it's almost time for bed. It's it's 9 37, but you get the idea. I already took my night shower. Okay, so I got some stuff from Sephora. So I wanted to go through and unbox it with you guys and show you guys what I got. So let's take all this out. Okay, let's see if you want to get a Sephora credit card. I don't need no credit card. Okay. So, the first thing I got that I paid for is the Clinique Cleansing Balm. So, this is what it is. Oh, it has a, a cap. Okay, so this is the Clinique Take the Day Off um, Cleansing Balm. And I got, as you can see, the smaller size. And if I remember correctly, are the prices on here? The prices aren't on here, but I think this one was $7.50. This is the very small size. The actual cleansing balm is a pretty good size jar, but I've never used it before. So I wanted to get the small size. And since I can't go into Sephora and get a sample because, you know, Corona, um, I got the small size. The next thing I got is by The Ordinary, Ordinary and it's their Direct Acid AHH BHH Peeling Solution 10-Minute Exfoliation Facial. So you guys have seen this all over the internet. I've heard good things about this product for a long time now. And I, you know, I love things that are, I love AHH. It actually really does work for me. So this is what it looks like. It's that thing that looks like blood that you see everyone squirting all over their face. So I'm really excited to try this. 
I'm not going to try it tonight. Or I may try it tonight. I don't know. I'm very excited to try it because I work from home. So if it goes really left, I don't have to go to work so anybody can see me. And then the last thing I got is a product. I had got this product as a sample. Like, you know, when you go in your cart and you have points and you can get free samples and stuff like that. I got this product as a sample and I think it my skin loved every bit of it it is again an ahh a a h a toner and it is by ren clean skincare and yeah so they have a lot a bigger bottle than this but i got the smaller size i can't remember how much this was but i'll put the prices of all these on the screen but yeah my skin really loved this and this is pretty much like a toner so like after you wash your face and cleanse your face then you go in with this as like a toner right now i'm using witch hazel but i like i like to alternate so maybe i'll use this at night use the witch hazel in the morning and stuff like that because it is a um a, an exfoliant so what aha does is it it chemically exfoliates your skin so without doing all the rough stuff and rubbing your face it helps the dead skin on your skin to kind of like come off and stuff like that or cell regenerate whatever yeah so i got introduced to aha through the acne doc org when i first tried it and definitely that was the product that my skin liked the most and then like i said when you have points with sephora and stuff you always get like free samples so so i have this sample of um peter thomas yeah peter thomas roth um anti-aging cleansing gel so you know your girl was you know a cute 27 so we gotta like introduce the anti-aging now okay um i should have been doing it since i was like 20 but that's not the point point. and i also got this joe malone um wooden sage sea salt cologne i am stuttering really bad today i feel like this is going to be backwards but you guys get the idea and it's like a sample size so let's see what this smells like let's spray it don't want to spray it on myself what if i don't like the smell all right maybe i'll spray it on the i'll spray it on this because this is like cardboard i am struggling to spray this right now <laughs> y'all see me struggling I still sprayed myself. Wow. Do I already have this? This smells so good. It's my kind of scent, bro. I love like warm scents. And my, I think my body scent is warm. So like when I wear warm scented colognes, it just, colognes, warm scented. Well, they call this a cologne. So is this for a dude? It don't smell like it's for a dude. It's definitely a mature scent, but I like to smell warm. This is definitely like, it gives you a hint of grandma, but it's like, this could be a business meeting scent or like a business dinner. You know, it, it's a scent, but I like it. So I'd probably wear it. I've definitely smelled this before. Someone has this. Anyway. Smells pretty good. So that is what I got from Sephora. All this stuff. My quarantine delivery. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that. But I'm about to just chill. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to try to clean out my underwear drawer. Because I also ordered some stuff from Savage Fenty. So I'm going to go through like my underwear and my bras. And like get rid of all the stuff that I don't need. Because I don't wear bras on a daily basis if I'm home. So since I'm working from home, I can get rid of my old bras that need to get be gotten rid of before my new bras come in. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys, I don't know, probably tomorrow. Hi guys. Okay, so I literally started every video in this vlog like that and I had to edit it out. Anyway, so it is Friday at 8.30. I'm done work and I'm doing some spring cleaning right now we're starting with my drawers and we're gonna clean them out give away throw away all that stuff so first i'm starting with my underwear drawer 
feel like y'all believe me. I need to show you guys my underwear drawer. I feel like we're getting too personal now. Oh, yeah. And I'm watching um, YouTube videos. <laughs> it's uh, Miss Darcy. Yeah, Miss Darcy on YouTube. She's hilarious. I love watching her videos. So that's what I'm doing right now. The light is behind me. That's why I look dark. But yeah. Um, I'm going to clean up my underwear drawer. And then I'll show you guys when I'm done. And everything looks neat because right now it's just a whole bunch of undies and bras and swimsuits and socks all in a kofafo. That's all I can call it. All right, I'll be right back, guys. So we're finished with the drawer. That's just like, I don't know, it's an old time thing that I see my mom do. Like you stick papers and important documents in your underwear drawer. I don't know if that's something I keep doing. This has in all my socks, stockings stuff like that and this is all the underwear that I currently now own I kind of like separated it by like everyday kind of underwear period panties slash everyday because I love to wear cotton like grandma panties because they're like my vagina loves it um boy shorts thongs all it togethers you know what I'm talking about I have one bra <laughs> This is so sad that I have one bra, bro. And strapless. Technically, there's some that are being washed that I can still wear. But a lot of the bras that I bought, the underwire came out. And it's and I can't get the under... It's, it's horrible. This is a swimsuit that I have made by, by Christian on um, from Instagram. She's a um, Barbadian Bajan um, crochet designer and i had that and I, I love it it's so cute but my body when i put it on i just felt like my body wasn't there yet so we're, we're, the goal is to wear this this summer and then all the rest of these are like my regular swimsuits i have so much more swimsuits i have swimsuits in this drawer i'm trying not to show you guys the mess that is my room um this drawer right here so yeah so i am done i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow I don't think I'm doing another drawer tonight. Um, this is all of, of the underwear and bras that I threw away. So, and my Savage Fenty package is already here. It's already in the living room. I'm going to throw that in the wash because Corona. And <laughs> obviously, also, you should probably wash your underwear before you use it, which is my normal. But I'm going to be doing a try-on haul. So I don't have time to just throw them in the wash with the rest of my clothes. I got to like wash them separately. So let's see if they hold up in the washing machine. I'll wash it on delicate to be nice. But I, that's not normally how my clothes get washed. Maybe I should try that. But anyway, so yeah, I'm excited to open that package. I have about five bras that I bought. So I'm going I'm to come up in the bra department. But like I said, I don't have a lot of boobs. I wear a 34... B and like the beginning of B a cup is just a little bit too small it's just like maybe an inch <laughs> um so I wear B cup but yeah I literally only wear bras for other people because people get weird with like nipples and shit so I wear bras that's pretty much why but yeah I'll come back to you guys tomorrow I will look a lot better because I'll come back to you guys when I'm about to shoot and I will not look this crazy. I promise. Okay, guys. I don't know why these curtains are half ass open. Whew. Okay, guys. So, my hair looks crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I think I might have to braid it back. But we just went to Walmart and all these. So, it's just like two grocery stores. Are you laughing? Because I'm vlogging. All you can hear is you in the background talking about picking up your clothes and putting in a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I'm not getting coronavirus this. Dude, not me. Dude. Whatever. So, yeah, we just came back from the store. My mom was coughing, but she has allergies. But she went and took an anti a, a, a Dettol bar freely, is what she went and did. But I feel fine. So 
I didn't do that. I'm gonna take this off. I mean, I had on a jacket. I already took my jacket off. I sprayed my jacket with the Clorox disinfectant spray. I sprayed her jacket. I sprayed my phone. That's why I didn't vlog in the store because I don't want to hold my phone with my dirty hands. So I had to clean my phone off and all that stuff. So about to put away these groceries. Oh. I also went to a Home Depot to pick up my desk. And then before we left, my, um, what's it called? My monitor cleaned. Yeah, guys, so we are back in our quarantine facility. Patient zero is... <laughs> Hey, don't put this time. You think talking is shut? Well, okay, it's zero. Ready? <laughs> there we go. I'll come back when I'm putting my desk and stuff up. Okay, so I'm all done with my desk set up. Set my monitor right here. Then I have this is my personal laptop, my work laptop, my work mouse, personal mouse. Then this old chair from a table we used to have. And then, you know, just my desk set up. So from now on, this is where I'm gonna be sitting when I do like editing for YouTube videos, my work and stuff. My hair looks crazy. I need to get myself together because I have to shoot and make a video. So yeah, let's go. Hi guys. Okay, so why is that the only Four words I can say when I turn on this camera for this vlog. Anyway, guys, so I'm, as you can see, I have on makeup. I'm clearly in front of a rain light. I have my makeshift backdrop in the background. But yeah, guys, I am, I just finished up shooting my YouTube videos. I shot two, so that's two videos for this week. Um, I really want to start trying to shoot, like have three videos. So I might sit down here and shoot one more video to have a video for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which is really a feat, but I can do it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, vlog on Sunday. I got this. Anyway, so here we are and we're done for today. <laughs> Um, I'm going to, I'm probably going to go shoot another video and see what other videos I can look in my, uh, video log, um, ideas and go in and see what video I can do, whether it's a talk through video, reaction video, something, something I can just talk. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just going to go on here and, and this vlog, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, girl, if if boy, if, if you don't go subscribe, just just click the subscribe button. And when you do so, make sure you click that notification bell. I keep looking here at myself. I gotta look here. I think right, right. I can't even see the goddamn camera. Um, yeah. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a vlog. And I promise you guys, I'm gonna bring you guys a vlog every week, even if it is the most boring thing in the world. I'm gonna bring you guys some content every week. So in some weeks you might get a tag because it was just so boring. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.